Your 2024 exam season is now officially underway. GCSE exams have started for real. And in this video, I'm just gonna go through some advice from myself and from other teachers that might help you over the coming days. So my first piece of advice is really just to double check exactly when your exams are for the next few weeks. And this means you can plan your revision appropriately. So you're not just focusing on the next exam, which might be tomorrow or a couple of days time. You've got a bigger picture about what's coming up. So you might have something like Talixy where you can download your own exam timetable from your school system, but just double check which exams you have on which day. And also make sure you know if it's a morning or an afternoon exam and also maybe which seat you're going to be sat in. And of course, along with that, make sure that you have enough equipment so you're not worried about your pen running out or not having a protractor or whatever else you might need. So make sure that, you know, if you've got a pen, have several spare pens. You can't have too many spare bits of equipment and make sure that's already packed the night before your exam. Okay, uh, so some other advice from some teachers. Uh, I'm just gonna read this from my phone. So this first one is from Dr. David Boyce. He's another physics teacher. And he basically says about crib sheets and how these can be useful. Uh, look again at the wider picture. With a week to go, you will probably not forget the details now and you will discover areas that you forgot to revise. And this just means that you know you've covered every possible area of that specification. And you know there's a lot that you can retain in your short term memory, even when you're stressed. And just by looking at these crib sheets, the kind of the key bits of information, it kind of gives you that wider picture for your course and you're not gonna forget it now if you're reading it. Um, okay, the next one is from Christina Astin, um, talking about revisiting the specification for like a final rag, which is like red, amber, green. Um, and basically, if you have this kind of tick list, you can just tick off that and go, yeah, I'm happy with that, happy with that. Or do you know, there's something there that I'm not quite happy about. And if there's, especially in science where there's a lot to remember, if there's areas where you don't really know what it means or you can't remember, that's the area to focus your revision on, not the bits that you currently know. Um, the next one I think is, is really important, probably the, the, the top tip from this whole video, is when you're using past papers, you can speed through them. So just jotting down bullet points for the longer written answers, uh, and maybe just doing the calculations, um, and you, that means you'd actually have to write uh, a full past paper where you're writing beautifully like you would in the exam. You could probably do a two hour long past paper in about half an hour just by quickly uh, you know, writing down a few bullet points. If it's a really simple thing, then you don't even necessarily need to write the answer down. You can just look at that past paper, maybe have the mark scheme there to check your answers, and you're basically using that as a set of questions that you don't even have to write everything down fully. Um, the next one from Matthew Lewis, again, another physics teacher I know him really well, um, breathe that's actually quite important. Make sure when it does get a bit uh, stressful in the exam or there's like this kind of wave of anxiety, just spend a couple of seconds breathing and that same happens in your revision, okay? It is gonna be overwhelming at time, but breaks are just as important as revision. And make sure that when you do have that break, you're not just doom scrolling on TikTok, getting carried away with that. Try and have a nice break, a bit of fresh air, maybe go and speak to people in your family or some of your friends, uh, rather than just having a break from revision by going straight onto your mobile phone. Um, AJ, I think this is a good one. Um, and although they are delicious, they are very tempting, don't just have a can of Monster in the morning before your exam, because you'll have a high and then you're gonna crash, you're gonna have this kind of sort of sugar crash about halfway through your exam. So even though it's difficult, you're gonna be feeling nervous and you might not want to eat breakfast in the morning, try and have a good kind of standard breakfast, you know, lots of protein in it, eggs, stuff like that, things like yogurt, um, rather than having like a really sugary energy drink to give you some energy, because although you might feel good for the first bit of the exam, you're gonna have a crash later on. So energy drinks, just don't drink them before exams. Uh, and finally, from Gareth, I've got some uh, advice here about RTQ. I've always uh, talked about read the f***ing question, uh, but basically RTFQ, read the full question. I think that's how you're supposed to say it. Um, because most of the time, and I've seen this with other people I've worked with and I've been doing like one-to-one -one sessions with people, is people know the physics, they know the answer, but they don't actually answer the question that's been asked, okay? Sometimes it's a case of just slowing it all down reading the care, the whole question really carefully, maybe reading from start to finish, and then going back to actually answer the question which is being asked. Most of the time, people lose marks with these silly mistakes, and it's not because they don't understand the science or whichever subject you're doing, it's because people don't read the question and they don't actually answer it. And afterwards, when you point out what the question asks, they're like, oh yeah, obviously, I know that. And if you know that, then you should be getting marks for it. So try and read the full question. So uh, just some bits of advice there. Um, so I think probably the biggest one of those I would take away is that when you do a past paper, 
You don't have to write every answer out fully, especially in the last few days before your exam. Uh, so that tip from Christina I think is really useful, okay? Maybe just bullet point some of the key points. Maybe just look at that past paper with the mark scheme next to it and you can probably do three or four times as many past papers as if you're writing full answers to everything. Anyway, if you do need more questions, uh, I've got loads for A-level and GCSE physics, because that's what I do. I, I make videos for all of this. Uh, I've got websites where you can find every video for every part of the course to teach yourself as you're learning this kind of stuff at the very last minute. And also, um, I'm doing live streams most days a week, and I've got links to those beneath the video. And of course, if you want to have more questions to have a go at, which is the main thing you need to do to get better for your exams, I do have extra practice papers, and you can buy those in my online shop. But yeah, hope all of it goes really well, and uh, yeah, good luck.